Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I'm going to show you a little um, problem I solved for myself many or months ago. I needed a three inch washer with a one inch hole in it, and I needed to cut out a lot of them. So I'm going to hit P so, and then hit P on the other one. I'm going to put them in the center of the page. Now I'm going to move it up to the top, and before I do anything else, I'm going to click on my interior washer, and then you can see it's the first one in the line, and that's what I want. If it wasn't there, it would, and it's really the last one you drew. I drew the outside first and then the inside, but it's going to cut the inside first. So that's pretty much solved a little bit of the problem, especially I just made a video about if you had your items raised off the bed and they would fall out. If you cut out the outside first, the inside is not going to be there. I've got my dunch distance set on three in, or three and a quarter inches, so I'm just going to make a whole bed of these. I need it all. And this isn't exactly the size I use, but you'll get the idea. But I had a whole bed of washers. Well, I'm going to take the tab key, and you can see it's going to. That was the last thing I drew, and it was the last one on the line. So it's going to go up this hill, but then it's going to come all the way back down here. And it's going to do that twice because it's after you get cutting the inside, it's going to go back and cut the outside in the same order. So to save you a little time and so it solves two problems at once, let's lasso those and let's flip them. So take and flip every other one and I'm going to show you the cut order here in just a second and by doing both of them and all I'm doing is flipping the order so now let's hit the tab key it's going to cut the inside of that hole and then it's going to move up now it's going to move over here and go down and it's going to move over and up. So you're saving a lot of run time. If you didn't have this done, your laser head would be going up and down, up and down without cutting. Now, it's, so not only does it save you a lot of time, it's um, because it's cutting the inside of the hole out. Now it's going to go over here and cut the outside. And it's going to do the same thing. Anyway, I'm not going to say you're ever going to make washers, but if you have parts that are internally need to be cut out and you're gonna a lot of them uh, cut them all out at once anyway hope that helped a little bit thank you for watching